Well, and not so much of a shocker, it turns out a survey has shown that the Talmudic Judeo Satanists in America, the Jews, are more friendly towards transgender, homosexual, LGBT type of ideology. This is from uh, the Forward, which is a Jewish source, Jewish news source, Talmudic Judeo Satanist of uh, that false religion. It says here, survey, Jews are the most accepting group towards trans people. Only 32% of Jews say they strongly disagree that, uh, sorry, strongly agree that there are only two genders, while 7 out of 10 said they are comfortable with learning a friend is trans. Well, not surprising, the Talmud of the, of the false religion of Judaism has all kinds of weird perverted stuff in there. But it says in the article, with an increasing number of Americans, uh, are ta uh, while an increasing number of Americans are taking a hard line against issues related to gender inclusivity, uh, Jews remain a the religious group most sympathetic, according to a new poll. The survey conducted by the Public Religions Research Institute and released uh, Thursday showed that a number of Jews who agree with the statement uh, there are only two genders has held a firm 44% since 2021, but in that time, the percentage of Americans who agree with, agree with that statement has grown from 59% up to 65%. Only 32% of Jews polled say they strongly believe there are only two genders, but 26% say they strongly believe there is a whole range of genders. Another 30% believe in a range of genders, but less strongly, half of Jews say they uh, would be okay with the gender neutral pronouns and 55% said they would be comfortable using pronouns that didn't match a friend's perceived gender. In other words, birds of a feather flock together. The Talmudic Judeo Satanist lobby and the transgender homosexual LGBT ideology uh, and lobby are in full cahoots with each other. Continuing on the article, Jews were the group least likely to agree with the statement, quote, young people are being peer pressured into being transgender. So they're, they're least likely to actually agree with that statement, that fact that a lot of young people are being talked into this kind of stuff against their will. With only a quarter saying this is the case, while 40% of Americans disagree with that statement, an overwhelming majority of white evangelicals, 75%, Mormons, 70%, and Hispanic Protestants, 60%, say they believe this is the case. In recent years, trans identities and gender fluidity have moved from a fringe to a major culture war battleground as the right has moved to ban trans issues from being discussed in the schools. You know what the law is saying is don't talk to stinking you know, five-year-olds about this kind of stuff. You know, because they're not old enough to understand. I mean, these are kids who think when they go to Disney World, they're meeting the actual character and not just a person in a costume. You know, so you can talk these kids into doing anything. The law is just simply saying, hey, don't, don't, you know, tell us, tell us the kids who are too young to understand that stuff. You know, that, that's why it's gone from a fringe to the big culture war because the transgender LGBT ideology are going after the kids. That's why. So they brought it on themselves. The transgender ideology, the transgender lobby, I'll put it that way, uh, with some far right. Uh, what some on the far right have even proposed banning transition, uh, gender transitioning for adults while armed mobs have taken to protesting outside drag show venues. Yeah, well, they're basically showing kids naked, you know, basically exposing kids to male and female uh, genitalia and doing all kinds of perverted pornographic stuff to young preschool age children. No wonder they're getting a whole lot of backlash. <laughs> You know, the biggest cause of transphobia, so-called transphobia, is just simply the behavior of the transgender lobby. It says in the article, while every, almost every racial, religious, and generational and political group has, has moved towards rejecting gender fluidity over the past two years, Republicans went from 87% to 90%, to, sorry, 90%. Democrats, Democrats saw an increase of 6% to 44%. Well, oh, some sanity on the Democrat party. Uh, only Mormons and Black Protestants have become more inclined to disagree with the two, uh, two gender statement, although shifts were small and, and the overwhelming majority of both groups still reject the idea of there being genders other than male and female. Yeah, because it's called reality. Jews uh, were also the group that said they would be they would be comfortable with they, sorry, that they would be comfortable with learning that a friend is in a same sex relationship. That 69% or 65% say that it would be okay if their friend was transgender. By comparison, overall results show that 48% of Americans would be comfortable learning a friend was in a same-sex relationship, while the other 28% said it wouldn't matter to them when it comes to transgender friends. 41% of Americans said they'd be, they would be comfortable, and 25% said it wouldn't matter. Continuing on, just over 60% of Jews said they'd be, uh, they believe comprehensive sex education is appropriate for middle schoolers. You know, I remember when I was in grade five, I was 11 years old, was taught so-called the so-called sex education. I was showed naked pornographic images. Yeah, that, that's definitely appropriate for middle schoolers. But hey, the Talmud has all kinds of garbage in it that you know perverted sexual garbage. So, you know, birds of a feather flock together. But just over half 
of Jews say they believe that people spend too much time talking about gender and pronouns, a statement that over 60% of total Americans agree with. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Oh, what I'm doing in the bedroom is none of your business. Well, I agree. Then stop trying to parade it around through the streets during your pride marches. You know what I mean? And stop taking my tax money to fund it. But, you know, it's insanity on its highest. But hey, not surprising that the satanic Talmudic Judeo... Uh, Judeo Satanist lobby, I'll put it that way, is in full cahoots with the transgender ideology because birds of a feather flock together. You know, Antichrist spirit, uh, basically one Antichrist spirit move into another. Put it that way. So I wanted to point that out, uh, just more proof showing uh, the satanic cult that is Judaism and also exposing the transgender ideology. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.